me goblins. There's some up there on the bridge. Did we win? Is... No, not yet. We're close. Some of them on the top of that bridge. Perhaps a little bit more ray of frosting would help. How many was that? Three squares? 15 mm. feet. 20. 25. Oh no, there are a bunch of them. <laughs> I dropped my concentration, by the way, before she even steps into the fire. Um, I can see a corner of some goblin air right here. I can see something to the left. Um, yeah. I have five movement left, so I think I'm going to hit this one on the left and then back around the corner. Okay. E. Did I get him? Uh, 13 is a miss. Sal, I tried. I was in front of everyone, and y'all were all behind me. I was nervous. It'll be fine. Just There's so many sense. dead bodies in here. <laughs> There's so many dead bodies. Uh, the... It doesn't matter. You hear one of the goblins shout out in Goblinoid. Um, their voice like kind of echoes out of the cave. Uh, I knew we should have taken your head off, Plarg. And uh, then he like hopped off the little bridge and uh, runs down. He draws uh, his two shimitars and um, he will take a couple of swipes at you, Salvager. Uh, All right. Both of his attacks missing you. He will uh, use his bonus action to strike a third time oh. and uh, miss again. You know, this could have been all easier if you had just not come to the village to and tried to, like, kill everyone and steal everything. But you didn't, and so now we're here. So, it's time for you to go bye-bye. He says, uh, we aren't the last of the Kragmas. Our deaths will be avenged! No, oh, they won't, and we both know this. Uh, Hale will do... Oh, sorry. Uh, Salvager, it's your turn. Um... I'm going to... Magic Stone. 19. Do I need to add the bonus? Uh, no. 19 hits. Well, let me roll damage. 2, 5 damage. 5 total? Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna end my turn because I don't want to take an opportunity to attack. Hail rays of. Does it ray of frost? Uh, Cedric. Alright. I'm gonna step back in a little bit further into the cave here. Oh my, there's a lot of bodies. Holy crap. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'm going to shoot the one in the far back. Yeah, I can hit them. With, you guessed it, Eldritch Blast! Does a 23 hit? <laughs> yeah, it does, for sure. Plus 5, 11 damage, and he's dead. Ah. God, you've been rolling really well. I should I, I should have really kept, like, a... Uh, a death count of things I've killed. Mm -hmm. Plarg uh, tries to ray of frost at Yimik, um, hey, and Mick. just misses. Flower, you're up. This is how this is how wizards level up, right? They just find a cave of goblins and cast fireball in it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Goblin oh, farming. Oh no! <laughs> Yemek's right next to me. Yeah. Yemek. Uh, this is a this is a different one. He's Yemek. <laughs> um, yeah, and he ah, needs ah, to die right. like the rest. This body's behind me. 
It'll be fine. I just need you to focus on, like, the thought of death and how much you, like, don't like people. And I need you to bottle that up and hit <laughs> someone with it. Specifically, the, that goblin over there. Sal, it's not working! <laughs> you reach out and uh, try to grab Yimik to shock him, and uh, uh, he... Uh, goes to try and backhand you uh, with one of his shimitars um, and uh, you kind of like hold your palm, your palm's kind of out already and when he goes to try and kind of slap you away with his blade, you grab onto his shimitar and you actually manage to uh, shock him through so you can cast the damage because he rolled a natural one on his next attack so do your shocking grasp damage to him Four. And uh, then he will. I don't want to die. I don't. I don't. I don't want to be like those. Those over there. He will hit you for six slashing, salvager. And uh, then it's your turn. Well, I'm going to take my action to disengage. And go thirty feet. Over he's letting here. you do the lightning, then he can, he can uh, disengage for free, right? Oh, right. Then I don't need to disengage, because he can't take reaction. I mean, uh, I'm going to run, and then I'm going to throw him a magic... Uh, throw him a magic stone. Twelve. I'm going to need the bonus. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen is a mess. Hit. Unfortunately, Mix armor right. is like really just tough. <laughs> uh, Hail will ray of frost for seven cold damage. Hail's been rolling good all session. And Cedric, you're up. All right, uh, Eldritch Blast, uh, Yemek. Does an eighteen hit? It does. Oh, thanks for Plus God. five, so twelve damage. And launch him back. He does, uh, he goes, um, flying back. Uh, he's kind of blast back. His arms fly back, and, uh, both of his shimitars go flying, landing in the water behind him. You hear one of them, like, smack against the stone, and they both topple down into the stream. Uh, and, uh, Yimik is no more. Well, I was anticlimactic, to be honest. <laughs> you hear Clark, like, counting on his... You see him, like, counting on his fingers. He's like, I think that should be all of them. Didn't you say there was, uh, Cragmire was in here? Is that like a goblin? Oh, no, the Cragma is the name of the goblin clan here. Ah. Oh, Anyways. oh. What, uh, was there... Were these goblins holding a hostage? We... We were actually looking for a, a friend who was tacked on the road. He says, um... Unfortunately, I believe they turned him into a stew. Oh. Did they... Well, what did they do with his stuff? Uh, <laughs> it's probably in Yimik's cave. Okay, because we need to get that back. Um... And oh, I, they, um, and then, obviously we can share some of it with you because you helped. That's a finder's fee. Absolutely. Mark, where did you learn to read books? Uh, well, he says, um, well, uh, you know, I've spent some uh, time wandering the lands, um, coming across books here and there. Occasionally a kind traveler would stumble upon my cave and I would give them refuge for knowledge. I've always been quite interested in the stars and I spend most of my free time trying to learn what I can. I, I can you show you I, I can show I you my to read in two days. Wow, that's very stars. impressive. Uh <clears throat> Um, yes, we could uh, exchange some of our knowledge. 
Uh, why don't you all come in? I... Absolutely. Well, um, I would, yeah, but for one, I have to sit down, and two, we need to get an obelisk back. Oh, you want to go back for the stone? Well, you have two. Uh, yeah. You currently have two options. Um, uh, you can come into Clark's, uh, Clark's cave and rest. I'm gonna change the name on his token. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's Clark now that all the goblins are dead. What's this giant cat thing over here? Uh, that's Clark's pet. Nice. Oh, all right. I mean. Uh well. How far away was the uh, the stone left? We can I mean, we can rest up here. You go get it, get the carts loaded back, and then we can meet you. I am fine with that. The only problem is, well, I'm a hit away from death. Well, not death, unconsciousness. That might pose a problem if we have. An ambush of whatever the hell that's out there. Well, but I'll go if it's not that far. There's only like a few rounds of Clark, the. Of was there dashing. a cat person like me? You didn't eat my mom, did you? <laughs> you can't see that over there yet. But yeah, I'm gonna go get the obelisk back. Okay. Uh, you travel um back down the stream. Uh, it was kind of the late afternoon when you guys arrived here, so it's uh, the sun is slowly setting. You think maybe in about an hour the sun will be um, kind of coming down over the horizon. Um, that for... is something that can guide me now after that perilous endeavor. And those... Sal uh, Salager, as you're making your way back towards the stone, um, make some perception checks. Uh, Clark says... Um, Emix Cave was up over this way. Um, they brought a bunch of barrels and crates in here to, and stashed them in my uh, in my observatory as well. You can have all those if you'd like. I have no need of them. 18, by the way. Um, as you make your way back towards the stone down the uh, stream, you can see... Uh, coming through the bushes towards the place where the stone you had set the stone down, a couple of those long skulled goblins. Uh, you see those green glow in their eyes, um, and uh, they're like running through the forest towards it. Can I stealth and take it? Uh, they're probably closer than you. Oh. Do they see me? Mm. Make a stealth check. Seven. All right, I'm going to call out to them. Ugh, time to bluff. I'm gonna call out to the um goblins and I'm gonna in goblinish in goblinoid I'm gonna say you know I've heard that you were searching for pieces of an obelisk like this one and I point to the one to the the piece that I have there and I don't particularly enjoy goblins in my area but I think it would be nice if I could give you the piece that I have in my lair, and then y'all could go back to wherever you're going. Because this is actually the second piece that I've found, but I have another one. If you could follow me, then I could, des I could bring you there and give it to you. Kill him, boys! <laughs> um... <laughs> You Bluffing. feel a, uh, uh, well, um, make a strength saving throw. 
strength. Yeah. 15. They, uh, um, they stop within like 15 feet of you when you start talking to them, and, uh, you see one of their eyes flare up, and, uh, there's like a rush of telekinetic force that blows past you, but you remain on your feet. The two goblins kind of like look at each other, um, and the, the other one attempts to telekinetically, telekinetically shove you down as well, make one more strength save. Four. You get pushed to the ground by their telekinetic energy, and they both take another five feet steps towards you uh, and the stone. Um, one of them says in Goblinoid, Where's your lair? Up the stream. Make a uh, deception check. We're going to call it uh, DC 15. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Um, oh, oh, my bluff is... Oh, inspiration. I have the inspiration. I'm okay, using go, that. Go ahead, roll it. Oh, thanks my God. Thanks, Luna. Uh, you hear one of them say, uh, you don't look like a bugbear or a cragmaw. That's the only thing up the stream. Well, the... We are sort of in cahoots. I have something they want and a way to get it. So, sort of working together. Plus, uh, one of their allies has business with me. Um, they kind of look at each other. You can tell there's some sort of uh, communication going on maybe between them. And one of them looks back to you and says, um, Rooksethid will not be happy if you've been hiding a piece of the obelisk. Bring us to your lair. All right, and I stand up and guide them. One of them, uh, picks up the piece of stone and puts it under their arm. Move, creature. I continue leading them. Uh, you continue leading them up towards the stream. Um, it took you a, a bit to get back there, though. Karg's, um, still this in the... This is a short rest for all of us, right? Uh, I don't think it takes him an hour, but, um... What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing back in the cave? Uh, Karg... Uh. Karg shows you, um, well, he says... They took the human over this way, and he points to the west side of the caves, um, over here, uh, and he says, All the stuff they unloaded from the wagons are in my observatory over this way. All right. I want to read books see, see the stars. I want to see the observatory. Uh, Clark takes you to his observatory. Um, there is a, uh, as you can see, a big pile of goods unloaded from the wagons that were stolen by the Kragma goblins. Um, there is like a, it's like a big domed cave and there's like a uh, raised platform and uh, there's like a, naturally occurring opening in the ceiling of Clark's cave here. Along one wall he has a couple of little handmade bookshelves um, and uh, there's like maybe a half a dozen books in them um, and on his little raised platform that he's made uh, there is like a miniature um, it's like a looking glass that's been kind of attached to like a makeshift uh, device that's almost like a telescope so you can kind of like move it back and forth up and down um, he says uh, you won't really be able to see anything now but um, at night time it gives you a good look at the night sky oh that's amazing do you mind if we stay and I can look at the look at the stars no, be my guest. I appreciate a curious mind. 
Clark, do you mind me asking how did uh how did the goblins come to uh, to be in, in this cave? Clark says, um, well, I've this has been my home for many years now. The Kragma goblins have always um ransacked these areas, lived in these forests, and one day uh a large group of them appeared with Yemek and e and uh they said they were taking over. Uh, but they were outnumbered me by quite a many, and so I didn't have much of a choice but to let them hunker down here. I had been waiting for a moment t to try and get them out, and so your arrival has been most fortuitous. They've been um, pilfering travelers along the road for some time now. Well, wow. well, that sounds, that sounds terrible to kind of live in fear like that. He says, um, what? they have a bigger stronghold in the forests to the north of here. Do they now? Oh, do you think they have riches there? I'm always up for some new adventure. I would think that they probably have riches there. The Kragma tribe is quite large. Um, I do know that they're uh, led by another of my kind. Hmm. Well, I look forward to investigating it one day. See what uh, lies within. Whew, that battle's got me. Oh, bored out. I think I need to sit down and rest. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh this Mark, is do you my... have any more books to read? He says, um... Tedrick's taught me all he knows already. Yeah, he says, here, you can come take a look at my collection. Ooh. I can only read partway, though. I, I learned from this book, and it's all, like, in different languages. Uh, what are they written in? Um, they are, uh, mostly written in, um, well, let's see, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five of them are written in common, one of them is written in Elven. Okay, well, then I'm gonna start casting comprehend languages as a ritual. Okay. I learned this trick, Clark. When you can't read it and you can't sound out the words, you just like hum this to yourself for like 11 minutes. And then it's like easier. Oh. That would come in handy. I can't read this one. <laughs> and he hands you a, a book after you cast your bell, um, the one that's written in Elven, he says, uh, he hands it to you, and you can see that it reads now the title of it is Chronicles of the Feywild War. Um. Oh. C Clark, what's war? Uh, war is, I know um, the title. War is like when two opposite opposites Oppositioning parties have a disagreement that they cannot resolve with words. And so they take to fighting each other. I suppose you could say that I was sort of at war with the Kragmas here, but it was more a war of the mind. Oh. Because I didn't have the power myself to fight them until you arrived. 
Oh, so war is good? War is always good for the victor. Oh, okay. I'll read uh, this book then. Thank you, might, you, Clark. Yes, you might be able to learn more about war and it, um, maybe through reading, I suppose. I don't, I don't know what that book's about, but... Uh, the other titles of the books are uh, Shadows of the Dragon Spire. Uh, there's oh, one called Scepter. Right of... <laughs> there's one called Scepter of the Eldritch Realms. Oh, um, War of the Feywilds. Chronicles of the Feywild War. Oh. Okay, Scepter of Elder Trails, Chronicles of the Fey Wild War. Cursed Crypts um, of the Lich King. First Crypts of the Lich King. Oh, these don't sound in my reading level. <laughs> Storms over Spellhaven. Uh, when you pick up that one, uh, he says, that one's my favorite. I can understand it. Uh, there's a bit of war in that one, I suppose. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I got those written down. And, uh, the, the, I want to learn everything there is. And the, the last one is Sorcerer's Veil, Shadows of the Astral Plane. Okay. These have some funny words I've never heard before. Uh, yeah, they're... I have a tough time with a few of them myself. Huh. I, I wish I, uh... I wish I knew that little spell of yours. I can teach it to you. Oh, uh, I wonder if I have anything I can teach you. Hmm. You don't have to, Clark. Everyone should be able to read everything. Uh, Clark says, um... Well, I, I, I did learn a spell from th this book here, and uh, he, um... He picks up the, the Sorcerer's Veil, Shadows of the Astral Plane. He says there were some pages near the back that had uh, arcane runes inscribed on the pages, and, and I studied them for days and days, and finally I could understand what they meant. And um, he can teach you uh, false life. Ooh, I don't have this one. And in, and in, in exchange he will learn, what is it? Uh, comprehend languages. Comprehend languages. Um, eventually, Salvager, uh, you get to the mouth of the Goblin Cave. Mm -hmm. Cedric, a little fluffy white cat with big yellow golden eyes, as you're resting, um, comes and like uh, hops on your lap. Clark says, "Oh, that's my cat Misty. She's friendly." Misty and me are the same color. Um, by the way, I have a question. Yeah? How in front am I of these goblins? Maybe ten feet tops. Alright. And I'm at, I, and we're here, right? Like, at uh -huh. the entrance. Yeah. Um, when you get to the entrance, uh, and the two goblins see, uh, the just, um, plethora of goblin corpses scattered all about, um, uh, you feel another rush of telekinetic energy. Uh, I need you to make a strength saving throw for me. Fuck. Uh, you get pushed to the ground, and, um, 
then you feel like both of the goblins just like breathing down your neck. Uh, um, you hear their voice like right in your ear, and uh, one of them says, "What happened here?" I'm not so sure. There were rumors that the nearby town had gathered some mercs and that they were investigating us. They heard something somehow about, you know, the obelisk. But it would be better if we set an example of what happens when you mess with us. So. Could you please stop shoving me to the ground? Make a uh, DC 15 deception check. I hate myself. My <laughs> rolls are so bad. How is it that my rolls either are really good or really bad? Your vision goes dark as you are knocked unconscious. You feel uh, right before uh, um, you feel a blow on the back of your head of a uh, a forceful blow, you hear the goblin uh, just whisper it in your ear. Liar! And um, then you're knocked out. And that is where we'll end the session this week. Oh, oh no. This is bad. <laughs> oh, so you've been knocked out. Uh, or just this like changing which... This is the second time this happened. But at the same time, I wanted to like... I don't want the goblins to just get the obelisk i feel like sal would not just let well let now they have happen. now they have the obelisk though because you're out unconscious yeah yeah no we'll Only see no i mean you 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 went you went back for the stone i mean if that's what your character would do you know i mean i commend it hope uh, I mean i knew i had a very high likelihood of dying i have two <laughs> hp uh, Salvager outside of the glow? Uh, Salvager outside of the um, mouth of the cave uh, you are knocked unconscious uh, near the stream um, unbeknownst to the rest of you uh, the two Psy Goblins uh, uh, are in possession of the piece of obelisk um, and next week we'll find out I thought we are uh, taking next week off oh yeah right uh, we'll take next week off. Um, if you guys do manage to get a long rest at some point, you will be level three. All right. Uh, Is, uh, are the, I'm assuming those goblins are going to come in here and attack us. Um, maybe. Be cantrips, man. It's going to be cantrips. Not necessarily. Spell slot. Not necessarily. Um, I mean, unless, unless you count the time that I'm just sitting here chilling as a short rest. It is possible that they will just um, leave with the stone. I mean, the entire plan was to get them inside the cavern and jump them. So if they attack you, and they, if they attack you, then it fulfills the plan. I'll just be unconscious. But don't worry, I'll come back with a with a backup character for next session. <laughs> um, this whole time I was kind of building something in case flower got hit at all yeah they might not i i mean i i don't want to reveal the psygoblin's motivations I so i uh, want you not to say a word <laughs> yeah so we'll leave it there and uh we'll have our uh, we'll we'll have a week off and we'll come back for another three week play um so Sounds i can good. so i can have some time to plot now because Obviously, I'm trying to do the whole adventure a little differently. Really, you guys aren't even supposed to know the Psygoblins exist until, like, you're all level 5, so... What? <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Uh, you guys killed... Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 20... 4... Go 24 goblins... Combination of 24 goblins and wolves. I think I killed like I think I killed like twelve of them. <laughs> They're so hardy. Those goblins are hardy. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. That I am very surprised because I'm not. I have confidence in myself. No, those as are as that's a, 24 enemies. As a as a as a as a as a plucky 
Um, uh, <laughs> I, think, um, I think that's called arrogance. Your wisdom, know. it might be an a Arrogance is, is talking up without uh, following up your game. I talked it up and I delivered. <laughs> It's the. Uh, I know. I'm I have. Searching. I have. I have results driven. Um. Uh. The confidence of a young ad new adventurer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's <laughs> the same type that walks into a dragon's lair and dies you, at level three. Cedric's really earning his um level three and his uh folk hero. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love it though. I'm gonna come back to the village and start.